Today you guys are starting your lesson on Lesson 17.3, Subtracting Polynomial Expressions. Um, for today, I do want you working with your groups. I know some of you guys will just sit there and ignore each other. I really do need you guys to talk. So your first thing that you need to decide on as a group is, are you all going to watch the video just on your own? And then you need to pause at when I tell you to pause, wait for your entire group to get to that point and go over the answers together to that question. That's your first option. Or you can just have one person put the video on and everybody watch it from their device so you're all watching it together. Or I guess maybe even just, hey, everybody hit play at the exact same time. Whatever you like. So as a group right now, pause this video and decide how is your group going to work on today's lesson. Okay, grab your math notebook. Um, I'm going to go over notes just like I would if you guys were in class. So taking notes, um, get a calculator out also, Desmos, um, any type of calculator, not your phone. Okay, um, just as a quick review, we're, so we're doing subtracting polynomial expressions. But just to remind you, seventh grade integer work on how to subtract. So if I have 10, take away 4. Okay, we all know 10 take away 4 is 6. However, Subtracting is always the same as adding the opposite. So you change your subtraction sign to a positive sign or a plus sign. And then we do the opposite. The opposite of positive 4 is negative 4. Subtracting is always the same as adding the opposite. 10 plus negative 4, so that just further proves that 10 take away 4 is 6. Or let's try it with uh, 10 take away 12. So you change subtraction to addition, so your subtraction becomes addition, and then that second number you do the opposite, so the opposite of positive 12 is negative 12. 10 plus negative 12 is negative 2. Okay, so just a, that's just a reminder. So today we're going to be subtracting, but keep in mind that subtracting is the same as adding and then all of the opposites. Okay, for this lesson, there's two ways to do the subtraction, just like uh, the addition one. The first time we do this, we're going to work with the vertical method. Vertical is up and down. Um, it'll say a lot in the directions to find the difference. Remember, difference means you're going to subtract. If it said sum, find the sum, that's when you add. If it says find the difference, it wants you to subtract. Okay, so for 1a, 5x plus 2 minus negative 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. Oops. Okay, first, just like with sum, when we're adding, you need your like terms stacked on top of each other. So right now, I don't have any x squareds up here. So when I rewrite this over here, I'm going to switch my color. Um, I don't have any of these x squareds up here. So when I rewrite this top polynomial, I'm going to rewrite it with either an empty spot or a zero as my placeholder. So there were zero of those x squareds on that top. Uh, for the x's, there are positive 5 x's because there's no symbol. If there's no symbol in front, it means it's plus, and then there's a plus 2. Okay, then bring down your subtraction. Now we're just stacking up the x squareds, the x's, and then the constants. So all I did is I rewrote this top equation to have that placeholder right here. Um, and then the bottom equation, I just rewrote it exactly the same way it is. Okay, so here, just this. Okay. Um, I'm doing my like terms. I'm doing the math work with those. So if I have 0x squareds and I take away negative 2x squareds, 0 take away a negative 2. If you need to, check this on your calculator. 0 take away negative 2 or add the opposite. Subtracting is the same as adding and then the opposite. So I could do 0 plus positive 2. So that ends up being positive 2x squareds. 
If I have 0x squareds and I take away negative 2x squareds, I now have 2x squareds. Okay, if I have 5x's and then I take away negative 3x's. 5 minus negative 3, or 5 plus the opposite. Opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. This is going to be a positive 8x. Again, check it on your calculator if you're not sure. 5 minus negative 3. Then finally, 2 minus 4. 2 take away 4 is negative 2. So here's your final answer. So the biggest issue on these questions is, or the, the error I usually see is, People will subtract the first term, but then the rest, they kind of just start going down. Like they'll do 5x, take away 3x. Well, no, that would be if we were combining with addition, 5 plus negative 3. That's not what we're doing. We're subtracting 5 minus negative 3. A lot of people also will, will do 2 plus 4 is 6. Again, that's not what we're doing. It's 2 minus the 4. So keep in mind when you're doing subtraction, you're subtracting every single term, not just the first term that you see. It's got to be all of them. Okay, let's try another one. This is 1b. <clears throat> y squared plus y minus 1 minus negative 2y squared plus y plus 1. Okay, we're subtracting. Right now, this one's nice because it is all lined up. The like terms are stacked already. Okay, you're doing, there's one y right here. If I have one y squared and I take away negative two y squared, it's one minus negative two. Or if it helps, change this subtraction into addition and change all the symbols to the opposite symbols. Because remember, subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. So when I usually do these, I actually go and I change my subtraction to addition, and then I change all of these symbols. So it was a negative 2y, so now it's a positive 2y. This is a positive 1, I'm going to make it a negative 1. This is a positive 1, I'm going to make it a negative 1. That's what I personally do. So then I can add a little bit easier. 1 plus 2, so that's going to be 3y squared. Uh, 1y plus a negative y means there's no more y's. I don't need to put down a 0y. Negative 1 plus another negative 1 makes negative 2. Okay, now you're going to work on one on your own, and then when you're done with it, you're going to check your answer with your group. Four x squared minus x minus negative x squared minus 1. Okay, I need you to do this problem, pause the video, and then you're going to check your answers with your entire group. Don't just sit there and ignore each other. I do need you to talk with your group, please. Okay, when you're ready, and you shouldn't just be sitting here copying my work down. You should be trying to do this on your own first. So first I notice there's an x squared, there's an x, and then there's a constant. So right now, these are not like terms, so I don't like them looking like they're stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to rewrite them. x squared, x, and then a constant of 0. This one was x squared. There were no x's, and then the constant. Okay, I'm also going to go ahead now, and I'm going to change subtraction to addition, and then I have to flip all the symbols, because subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. So I'm going to change the subtraction to addition. And now I'm going to do the opposite on all of this. Instead of a minus x, it's going to be a positive x. Instead of this being minus, or a positive, it's a minus. Instead of this being a minus, it's going to be a positive. So I just flipped all the symbols. Now I can add a lot easier. 4x squared plus a 1x squared. If I had 4x squared and I added 1x squared, I now have 5x squared. A negative x and take away another x, that really doesn't matter because it's really just a 0. So I still have just negative x. 0 plus 1, 0 obviously doesn't matter. I just still have a plus 1. So your final answer is 5x squared minus x plus 1. Okay, here's another one to do by yourself. And then check your answers with your group. Number 2, negative z cubed minus 2z minus 1 minus 
negative z cubed plus 2z plus 1. Go ahead, pause this video, subtract, and check your answers. Okay, if it helps, if you like the vertical method, write them so they're on top of each other. You will notice they are lined up. There are no z squareds. I'm not going to bother about that because neither of them have z squareds, so don't even worry about it. Um, I'm going to change subtraction to addition, but if I change it to addition, I have to change, I have to flip every other symbol then. All the other symbols have to change. So instead of this being a negative z squared, I change it to a positive. Instead of this being a positive, it's going to be a minus. Instead of this being a po positive, it's going to be a minus. So now a negative 1z cubed plus positive 1z cubed. There's no more z cubes. Negative 2z's and another negative 2z's make negative 4z's. Negative 1 and another negative 1 make negative 2. If you don't like doing the changing it to addition and then flip the symbols, you can just keep doing your subtraction. But I know a lot of you guys struggle with subtracting with integers with positive and negative, so make sure you use your calculator. Okay, third one. 8y minus 7 minus 1 minus 3y. Work on that one with your group, please. Pause this video. Okay, first, if you want to write it in vertical format, it'll look like this. I do not have my like terms lined up, though, so I'm going to rewrite. I kept the top polynomial the way it was, and then it's minus, and I put the minus 3y in the front, and I put that positive 1 at the end. Okay, now I'm subtracting. So either you can do 8 minus negative 3, or that's the same as 8 plus positive 3. 8, 9, 10, 11, this is 11y. And then negative 7 minus 1 is negative 8. 11y minus 8. Okay, then we're going to start with example 2. Now example 2 is the um, horizontal method. This is the one I use more. Okay, horizontal goes left, right. So for 2a, um, 2q squareds minus q minus 8 minus 2q squareds plus q minus 4. Okay, for these, so you have to be careful when you subtract. You're, it's saying that every single thing inside of here is being subtracted. A lot of times people will just subtract that first one and then they don't change anything down here. So what I always do, subtracting is the same as adding. So change your subtraction to addition. It's the same as adding the opposites. You can't just change it to addition and then be done. You can't just change subtraction to addition. That doesn't, that's completely different. If you change it to addition, you have to change all of the symbols. So this is a positive 2, so now change it so it's a negative 2. This is a positive Q, so change it so it's a negative Q. This is a minus 4, so change it so it's a positive 4. Now I'm going to do my combining like terms with just adding. So I'm going to go in order of biggest degree. So these have a degree of 2. So I have 2 Q squareds. And I have negative 2 squared, uh, 2 q squared. So positive 2 and negative 2, I have 0 q squareds now. Next, I have a negative q, and I have another negative q. A negative q and a negative q, I now have negative 2 of those q's. Negative 1 q plus negative 1 q makes negative 2 q's. So I'm done with my q's. The last thing I always do is my constants because they have a degree of 0. Negative 8 plus 4. Negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. So your final answer is negative 2q minus 4. Okay, let's try another one like that. Um, 2ab minus b plus a minus... 2b squared 
plus B plus A plus 4. And obviously, pause the video if I'm going too fast for you. Okay, 2AB minus B plus A minus 2B squared plus B plus A plus 4. Okay, I'm going to change my subtraction to addition. And I'm going to flip all the symbols. So this is a positive 2B, so make it negative. This is a positive B, make it negative. This is positive A, make it negative. This is positive 4, make it minus or negative. Okay, I'm going to go in order of degree. A, B, this has a degree of 2 because there's a 1 and a 1. So this has a degree of 2, and then the B squared, that has a degree of 2. So it doesn't matter which one you put first. They don't go together, though. I'm just going to put this guy first just because I see him first. So there were, was two ABs. I also have this B squared. There's no more B squared, so, so I have negative two B squareds. Okay, those both have the same degree. You could have put negative two B squared plus two A. Okay, it does not matter. Now I'm going to go with my degree of one. This has a degree of one, degree of one, degree of one, degree of one. Okay, I'm going to go in alphabetical order then, my A's. Positive A and a negative A. I have no more A's. I have a negative B and I have another negative B. A negative 1B plus another negative 1B now makes negative 2 of those Bs. And finally, I have a minus 4 at the end. 2AB minus 2B squared minus 2B minus 4. Okay, you're going to do one on your own with your group. This is the last question we're doing. We will finish this lesson tomorrow with me. On your own. Uh, question four. Negative x cubed plus y squared plus y minus x minus negative x cubed plus y plus x. Pause the video if you need to to write that down. Okay, you're going to work on this with your group, with your table. So pause the video and go over the answers together with your group. Okay, I changed my subtraction to addition, and then I flipped all the symbols after it. Okay, my biggest degree is 3. I had negative 1x cubes and then a positive 1x cubed, so I have no more x cubes. Sorry. Next thing I have is my y squareds. There were no more y squareds. Uh, then I have my degree of 1, so I'm going to go in alphabetical order and do my x's first. I have a negative x and another negative x, so then I have negative 2x's. And then my y's, I have a positive y and a negative y, so those cancel each other out. So your final answer is y squared minus 2x. Tomorrow in class, I will finish. There's one more question to do together, and then we have um, two word problems, and then we'll work on the exit ticket. Thank you.